Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, this is Magic Book Chef. I'm Jahaina. And Farah. And this is our 11th, 11th IMM. And today it's going to be our digital IMM because all the books that we have are in um, ebook format. Let's get digital. Yes, so, so let's start. Um, um, don't, like, don't look at my grandma's sweater because it's my mom's and I'm really cold and I miss her because she's out of the country. Anyways. <laughs> So the first book we got from that galley is called Supergirl Mixtapes, and it is by Megan Brothers. So this cover is just amazing. It I actually, love it. It actually looks like a tape, you know? An actual tape. So I think it's really creative. I and how like, I feel like if I actually have the book and it's like cassette. So I feel like it's a really creative book that I'm really excited to read. So, yay! <laughs> <laughs> actually, we actually don't know anything about it. I haven't read the synopsis. We just saw the cover and we're like, request. Second book we got is Welcome Caller. This is Chloe. This book comes out, I think, in... It's pretty late, in May. Um, it's about this girl who jo who joins the... Oops, sorry. Who joins joins her radio... the Her school school's radio. radio yeah. Something or whatever. And it looks really interesting. A cute contempt. We all love contempts. Well, we do. We love contempts, so... Welcome, Chloe. Uh, welcome, Call. This is Chloe and the author. Shelly. Where's the name? Cor. Oh, I know. Very but small. Where is the name? Shelly Coriel. Very, very tiny. I think you can see it. Anyways, second book. And this third book is Graffiti Moon by Kath Crowley. Crow Crowley. Crowley. I think this book is already out, but it's out in the um, original. Um, um, a book, uh, put it down. People okay. can't see you. In the original cover with the whole spray can. Yeah. So, we this also is off got Net Galley. this from NetGalley, and we're really excited to read this because I've heard great reviews about it. And it comes out in February something. And I honestly think I like this cover more. It's such a but, cute cover. But only if, like, they didn't show the faces, because I hate it. I wish if they'd made it more black. Like, when they show the faces, because I want to imagine the faces, I want to imagine. Like, see, from far, like. you can't really tell, but if you go a bit close, you can, you know... Check to see the features, so okay, the yeah. mouths are big, <laughs> yeah. Okay, fourth book we got out of Nick Galley, fifth, fifth book, fourth, fifth. You want to count one, two, three, four? Oops, fourth book we got in Nick Galley is Dust Girl by Sarah Zettel. Um, Sarah this Zettel. is from Random House, and this book comes out where June, I think. I think think if I'm not mistaken this book comes out in June it's part of a trilogy right it's book number one in the American fairy trilogy and yeah okay we have it here um this girl comes out in June 26 yeah June 26 and graffiti moon comes out at February 14th and it's still a long way for it yeah I'm really excited for this um did you guys notice that there's some really scary face here oh god I just noticed it <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Is okay, stop, stop that's reflecting. outside. Sorry. The story looks amazing. Um I will be reading that somewhere around May or April. So yeah. And um the fifth or fourth? Fifth. Fifth. What are you doing? I'm trying to check when it comes out. Who cares? Just, okay. So the fifth book is Whoa. Sorry. Is The Gathering Storm by Robin Bridges. It is the first book of the Katerina Katerina Tri Trilogy. Trilogy. Because <laughs> they're Russian, so my sister likes to say Katerina. Katerina. Exactly. That's how you're supposed to pronounce the Russian. Well, I can't names. pronounce it like that, so I'm just gonna say Katrina. And it comes out in June January ten, I think, two thousand eleven. Two thousand twelve. Two thousand She's reading it right now. So I'm currently reading it. It's my first Historical. I, like, I've read Pretty Young Things and I didn't really like it. It was by Anna Godsperson. And it's a historical contempt and I didn't really enjoy it, but I'm going to give it a try for historical See, fantasy. I just or... read I just read uh, The Girl of Fire and Thorns and it's historical fantasy. And I've never read historical fantasies. So when we got this out in the gallery, I told Farah to read it because she should seriously try historical fantasies. They, they are really and good. And so far, it's really good. I'm on page 15, so far, it's really good. And I really like the model. She's so pretty. Yeah, I'm that's, not a big fan of models that's on Katarina. covers. But Katrina is very pretty. That's Katrina. Okay, six books we got out of Net Galley. Um, 
Thomas Nelson sent us an email and they're like, if you'd like to review this book, it's called First Date by Krista McGee. And um, this book reminds me of All American Girl by Meg Cabot. It's about, but it's not that similar, but it's about this, uh, um, there's a reality show where the president's son has to pick a prom date because he just broke up with his, girl, with his ex, with his girlfriend. So when our protagonist is, um, is picked out of like a hundred or her school is picked out of a hundred, like a hundred schools were picked out of all the schools and I don't know where in the and US. And it comes out in January 10, 2012. So yeah, I'm reading it right now. So, so they picked forward to it. Yeah, so they picked her and she doesn't want to, but this is how far I got and it looks really interesting. I'm not a big fan of the cover. Felt more adulty to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's at the beginning. I was like, eh, but it looks... Um, I'm really liking it. It's not even, but the thing is, it's not told from a first person's point of view. I think it's like told from a second or a third, but it's good so in far. In ways, um, we forgot to put this book uh, on our last IMM. Anyways, there's already a review. There's a, already a review up for it, and it's called we'll Link It Down. Knows to Self by Avery Sawyer. That's her pen name. I actually forgot her real name, but it's a really good book. It's really, like, it talks about this girl who falls off a cliff with her friend and she wakes cliff. up from, not a cliff, it's like this thing. What thing? It's like, I'm still imagining. It's like, they both fell. One of them survived. Just, just think about, like, they fell. And um, this girl, what, like, her best friend, Emily, like, still stays in a coma while she wakes up and she barely remembers anything and stuff. And it's a really good book, so better go ahead and read that. Read it. Read it. It's really good. Okay. And it's a Kindle. Only Kindle. Kindle yeah. users, go buy it. Next book is Life is But a Dream, also out of NetGalley, by Brian James. James. Okay, I really like the book from far. It's it's, has, it's it's such a pretty cover, but if you focus on the model, yeah, not so much. Why? I just saw the it's model. Pretty. No, it's pretty scary. Like, it's her like, eyes are weird. It's like, she has a big forehead. I'm sorry. Is the world crazy? Don't look at my forehead. Is the world crazy or is she? Ooh, but no, I um I think when does this book come out? Hold on, this book comes out on March two thousand March two thousand twelve. March. March. Yeah. My birthday I, month. Yeah. So life is but Ooh. a dream. Looks interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Really does. Really does. Like little clouds, and the yeah, I lost track. Who cares? Just <laughs> next book. Anyways, it's the one that I want by Jennifer Eccles. It came out in ebook. the The paperback is gonna come out around Feb. It, it it's it was one of our wow picks. I found out it came out on ebook. I got it. I read it. I loved it. I finished it yesterday. Read it in one day, and the review I'll post it next week, hopefully. Yeah, and we love Jennifer Eccles. So it's Simone Pulse. So don't expect her forget you and and um love story sort of books. That mm, they have it's more, more of depth. It of young adult. Like, it's, this is more young adult. I mean, I love Simone Paul's books. They're so quickie. Such a quick read. I love them. And isn't the cover so pretty? It's such a pretty cover. And I, I love, 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 love the purple she chose. Pretty cover. I love Jennifer Eccles' covers. Wow, this video is taking a lot of time. It's okay. Next book. The book I'm real, I was, I've been dying to read is Bad Good For Do You by Tamara Weber. This is book number th three in, and the final book actually in the Between the Lines series, trilogy, whatever. And I read the first uh, a, lot, a while ago. I read the second and I reviewed it on the blog. And the third one just came out. And the cover is cute. I like the cover. Her covers are all like that and it's so adorable. And I think it's, on, it's also out only on Kindle or ebook or whatever. Be yeah. sure to check it out. Be sure to check out her series. It's a contemporary. It's very cute. First really book is like called it. Between the Lines. Second book is called Good For You. Oops, no, that's, that's the third. good for you. Where, what's, the, what's the second book? So first one is Between the Lines. Second one is Where You Are. And yeah. the third one is Good For You. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. It's like a cuteness overload. You need to read it. And that's what we got in our mailbox. Yeah. What, what did you, you guys, guys get, get in your mailbox? mailbox? Probably not going to be a lot of IMMs this week because of, you know, the holidays and stuff. But Happy holidays to yes. you guys. Happy holidays. To and those who celebrate Christmas. to see Christmas. you next week. Bye. Bye.